Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome. Okay, let's see what we have going on for other Aquarians. Okay, let's see. We're starting off with... Ooh, the end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way back to a peaceful place. The end of depression or illness. Travel or relocation. Wow. And then we have crossing you. Brilliant. Experience. Humorous. Indig oh, judgmental. Releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Seeing the humor in difficult situations. Focusing on career, divorce, or unmarried individuals. Wow. This is the Queen of Swords. Got the Six of Swords and then crossing Six of Swords. You got the Queen of Swords. You're not putting up any bull. You're moving away from things that no, no longer serve you. And that's the truth of that. And it's also an air sign. Your transformation too with these butterflies. Let me just... A lot of butterflies I see here. There's a butterfly here, here, here. I think there's two on top. Yeah, we got the butterflies. Might even be more here. I think there's little ones in the bush here. Okay, so that's what's going on. Let's see. And then the next one we have ego. So this is the devil card here. So the illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibilities for your situation. And then make choices to support that support your path or happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits. So someone has to deal with that there. You know, this could be, and the devil energies could be just overdoing something. And, um, of course, it could be drinking. It could be drugs. Bad habits there. Let's see. And in the recent past, we have the moon, Pisces energy. So this is listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. Okay. A lot of emotions. So there's a lot of emotions in the past. You could have been dealing with Pisces in the past. I'm going to clarify all these cards. Crowning you, we have the Knight of Wands here. And so it's passionate, confident, the charisma, uh, restless. Events in requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused. A passionate relationship. So it looks like there's passion. You know, okay, look at this. We, we have someone's letting go of their ego, I think, probably here. Because this is like someone's breaking the chains. So someone's letting go of this. Had a, they were stuck in their emotions here at the Pisces energy. And then you have here, you have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And also, this is you right here saying, I'm not putting with anybody's bullets. So I think people are starting to get that idea. They know that you're not going to put up with anything. So, you know, they have to change. Okay, now coming in. Oh, we have Justice. Look at that. Justice card. Libra energy. Be impartial, objective, stand up to what you b believe, try to see all sides of the situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. Yeah, if you stand in your integrity, you're going to win. Whoever has to stand in their integrity, that's the person who's going to win out in, in a situation. If you have like a court case coming up or something, it's going to win in favor of the one that is correct. Okay, and then we have transformation. Ooh, Scorpio energy. So, um, also, this, um, this transformation... A significant life experience that requires change to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelation. Breaking free of, um, oh wait, I'm sorry. This is not, oh, it's Scorpio energy. But I was thinking this death card is not, it's the tower. Gotta get, you know, sometimes I forget which ones are in this deck. Okay, powerful and often unexpected revelation. Breaking free of procrastination. Releasing old belief systems. So there's a major change coming in for you guys. I'm liking it. Okay. And this is how people see you as a queen of wands. You're getting a lot of attention here. You're very attractive or you're just doing something that's really attracting a lot of attention. And so um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, are brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourselves. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. Yeah, I think you're in high demand in both areas. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, then we have, okay, this is the Ace of Swords. Brilliant ideas that may need refinement. Overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely. Remain objective. See, so this is cutting out what does not belong and starting something new. So it looks like things are real. You're transforming. You're getting a lot of attention here. 
you're cutting out the old with, and bringing the new. And also with this, there's a lot of like, <laughs> there's a lot of like sword cutting here. <laughs> okay, and for your possible outcomes, we have the magician. Yay! And this is Aries um, Aquarius energy. And it says, magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it. You can do it. And that's what's coming in for you because you're getting very powerful. Whatever this transformation is that you're going through, it's really good. And then we have, um, this is the Page of Wands. Enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, and patient. News of exciting opportunities allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions. Finish what you start. So some, there's going to get some kind of communication here with this card. This Page of Wands. Expect to hear some news in the future an offer maybe and then we have the dreamer oh i love it the full card this is also aries or aquarius and it says a new start trust yourself push your fears aside and take a leap of faith wow oh this is beautiful on the bottom of the deck we have the three of cups oh boy you're gonna be celebrating some things here this transformation what's going on in your life what you're getting rid of there's passion coming in there's justice coming in this is an awesome read and said news Worth celebrating joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancy, or graduation. A time for gratitude, close communities, or chosen families. I'm liking it. Okay, let's start clarifying. I decided to use this deck. Let's see. What we get with this one? Okay, why do we have the Six of Swords here for Aquarius? What's that all about? Just move this out of the way for a sec. Why is the Six of Swords here? What are you moving away from? What's going on here? Why do we have... Okay, these two came out. Let's see. I'm putting them down. Look at this. You're celebrating this moving way because you have the strength to do something. You probably had the strength to just move out of a bad situation or um, travel or... There's something that you had to have the strength to do and it's making you very happy here. You're celebrating this idea of moving. Because you found your way to something peaceful. You might be relocating. You have the strength to do that. Leo energy. Okay, now for this Queen of Swords. What is the Queen of Swords doing here? Let's see what's going on with that. Whoa. Okay. Yay. We got three cards here. Okay, so seven of wands. I'm telling you, you're standing out. You're really getting attention. You're putting an end to this feeling left out this poverty this abandonment because you are getting attention here so you're this is you with the queen of swords it's definitely your energy you're just cutting out whatever is not serving you and you know i almost feel like this is an energy of now there's someone i feel that's around you or something that likes to throw that pity party and they really don't you know they have to help themselves they can't it's it's like i'm feeling this energy of like they're fine and dandy. You know what I mean? They're fine and dandy. And then when they see you coming, oh, oh, you know what I mean? If that's, I get, I don't know who that's for, but, but that is what somebody does. It's like they, they just want the pity. Well, you're putting an end to that, is whoever that is. But you're standing out, and if there's something coming in that people are going to have choices, they're going to pick you up above everybody else. You're just standing out. Okay. Now. Let's see, why do we have the ego here? We have the moon. Well, doesn't that, it's not something. Have the moon there. Pisces energy. So there's someone breaking some kind of, I see that might be what I was feeling there. This is, this is emotional. Um, a pity party of someone just wanting this attention and you know after a while it gets old you know like you give someone attention in the beginning oh oh i'm so sorry or and then all of a sudden you see you know what this is this person's mo and that mo has got to go you know what i mean <laughs> so now we have the moon here so there's a lot of emotions a lot of hidden emotions and you know this is an illusion just like this that's an illusion so the illusion of being trapped you know, this person is not trapped. I don't like like this is your energy. I think it's someone else around you. I feel like it's that person that's moaning and groaning when you're around. When you come, as soon as you come in sight, or they hear you coming. But other than that, they're fine. They're fine and dandy. 
you know what the heck <laughs> so okay poor pisces energy could be a scorpio cancer um let's see so let's why is the moon in the recent past why is that here Ooh, say deception and you know what this this guy or girl i can't tell what it is here this person underneath this moonlight is getting caught i love this card because this deception saying they're not getting away with it they're oh they're trying to be so sneaky think they're so smart but it's illusion you know it's hidden and these hidden things are coming to light here because this this person is right under the moonlight it's not hiding you're doing things deceptive things right under the light if you're going to do deceptive things do it in the dark <laughs> and they're leaving clues and and someone's actually squealing on them too so whatever this is this is this whatever someone's trying to hide is coming out now at this time because this is the recent past and i said this is coming out now okay what about this knight of wands why do we have this knight of wands here why is oops my cards are starting to <laughs> they want to really fly today okay why is the knight of wands oh i didn't even realize that was flipped over okay six of wands getting recognized someone is recognizing you or you're getting recognized there's a lot of passion here but i think someone is just um really recognizing your worth understanding it i think many people are okay let's see why do we have the justice card in here and we have the four of swords okay so there's justice here someone might be thinking about you and they're coming in to make things right with you because when i see this four of swords i see it as someone thinking about someone and dreaming about someone and not you know having pleasant dreams about someone and someone wants to come in and make the things right with you okay what about transformation why do we have the transformation correct here nine of wands okay well, I think you've been through your battle. I think by going through all these things that you had to go through in your life, it transformed your life. So now there, there's a, a transformation. The tower comes in and it clears away all the debris. And then your life starts and you're good. You're good to go. Okay, what about this queen of, which one is this? Queen of, queen of uh, fire here. Okay, queen of wands. Why is the queen of wands here? Give us one that, please. The Queen of Cups. And this is how people see you. So they see you as very passionate, very um, attractive, but also very nurturing, caring, and very intuitive. You got it all there. And that could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it's really for your energy. What about the, um, the Ace of Swords? Why is that here? We have the Five of Swords. This is, to me, I'm feeling this is gossip. This is people trying to start trouble. And you're putting an end to it, the Ace of Swords. Says, That's it. I had enough. I've been listening to your stuff for way too long, and it's done. Not, no more. That's over. Got the Ace of Swords. Okay, what about the Magician? Why is the Magician here? Ooh, the Hangman. Seeing things in a new perspective. This, maybe it's... A, Someone was seeing things in a new perspective, or is you seeing things in a new perspective? But Pisces energy, it's like um, waiting. And by waiting, it's actually brought more, more information in. You know, it brought like, oh, wow, I didn't see that before. And by doing that, it ended up bringing the mag magician, which means you're manifesting now. Because you waited, sometimes you think, why is it taking so long? But sometimes, or most of the time, if you had to wait for something, not for nothing, it ends up being a better outcome than if it happened right away when you want it, when you're impatient about it. Okay, now we have the page of wands. Got a lot of wands here, huh? Why is the page of wands here? Let's see. Ooh, yeah, this information is going to come in quick. And if it's if you're conversing with someone, that's interesting you which i think this is it's going to be a lot of back and forth communication is you know it's like going to be a lot of texts or a lot of emails or a lot of phone calls whichever way that you are conversing or maybe all of them i'm feeling very excited i'm feeling like yeah it might start with a phone call or text or you know it's almost oh my god this almost feels like if it's something you do real quick okay it's a text if you don't have time but if you can talk you're going to be on the phone you're going to be talking and then if you can't talk and it's too 
you want to say more it's going to be email so it's going to be whichever way you need to converse with this person it's going to happen it's going to be a lot of back and forth what about the dream or the fool card why is that here for Aquarius? why do we have that card and we have ooh, the nine of cups your wishes and dreams come true how nice okay you know what let me get my bag here oh we got the devil on the bottom okay so that's the ego here so someone i don't know i think this is someone obsessing over you um when i see this card it, this could be that you're dealing with a capricorn but this feels like someone is just really thinking about you a lot you know like you're really on someone's mind i have to get the bag of hang on one second guys sorry definitely want to use this too. So we're going to see what the word is. i got to do what the word for you guys today. I don't think I did it in the last two readings, right? I'm not even sure. I don't think so. Okay. Let me just put this here for one minute. Move my chair. Okay. So who do we start with? Um, we have... Okay. The first is this Queen of Swords. Yes. Yeah. we got to find out about the Queen of Swords. What's the word on the Queen of Swords? What's the word? What's the word? We have together, admitted, truth. Ooh, so I think this is, you know, she's got the sword of truth here, right? I mean, look at this. This is a sword of truth. You better come with the truth. That's the queen of swords. That's your energy. You better come with the truth here. So this person together, admitted truth. This, when you come together, this person, whoever you're dealing with that needs to tell the truth is going to admit the truth. Okay, now next person we have is, oh, the Knight, the Knight of Wands. What's the story of this Knight of Wands? What's the scoop here? We have before lying about money. Someone was lying about money before. Take if it resonates, leave it, it doesn't, but that's what's coming out on the Knight of Wands. Okay, now, who's the next person? Oh, we got the Queens. Let's see these Queenies. First, we go with the Queen of Wands. What's the story on the Queen of Wands? We have love. Expect. Jealousy. Ooh. So, someone loves you and you can expect them to be a little bit of jealous there's gonna be jealousy here what about this queen of cups that's good we have fast oh i got a few here apart fast apart drama confessed okay i think i'm taking right away off the bat here i think there's drama that someone's confessing to and that was that pulled you apart quickly here because there's a lot of drama and someone's confessing to the, that they, they that's what happened and that pulled you guys apart okay I don't oh we do help the, isn't this one yes the page okay let's see what the story is on this page what's the scoop on this page surprise sexual and love okay so i would say <laughs> when this page shows up this page of wands I, I guess this communication is going to be um sexing or um you know sexual emails or sexual talk but this is they, they, this might surprise you how this person is conversing with you but that's what it's getting here something is very sexual very attractive to you okay <laughs> now let's see Let's go right into what signs do we have for Aquarius? What are the signs? We have Scorpio. It's over there. Here, let me move my little treasure chest. Okay, Scorpio. Pisces. Sagittarius. Cancer. Look at that. All the water signs. A lot of emotions coming out here. <laughs> Leo and Capricorn. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placements in your person's chart, placements in past people, present people, or 
and future people coming in. So we have Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, Cancer, Leo, and Capricorn. Now we're going to go to the letters. Okay, I'm going to take 11 letters for initials. Li initials for first names or last names or middle names. And it's going to be maybe your initials, maybe your person's initials, past people, present people, or people you don't even know yet, future people. Let's see. We have K, Q, W, A, T, F, T, Y, B, P. One more. And S. So... The letters we have for you today are K, Q, W, A, T, F, T, Y, B, P, S. Okay, now the names. 11 names for you guys. Just let's shake it up a little bit more. Okay. Now, let me reach down to the bottom. Try to get a couple on the bottom. What names do we have for Aquarius? We have. Okay, so see how many we have here. We have Nancy. We have Christy. C H R I S T Y, because I think you spelled with a K too. Jeff. J E F F. We have Rhonda. We have Suzette. S U Z E T T E. We have Barbara. We have Louise. We have Pia. We have Debbie, and we have Aquil Aquila. Um, I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce this. It's A Q U I L A H, and we need one more. So let me just grab one from the bottom. Oh, we only have one guy here. Wow. And we have Rosemary. Okay. Those are the names we have today. Okay. So now, yeah. Well, you know, I burned the sage before I start, and I got all these ashes all over the place. Okay, guys. So. Whew, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I think this is beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And please let me know if you do re if it does resonate with you. Please leave comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your, your likes, your subscribes, comments, and shares. And um, also, don't forget to hit the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload new videos. Because then you'll get the notification that there are new videos for you to view. If you care to do so. And then you can do it whenever you feel like it. So um, I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.